गुड इवनिंग गाइज कैन ऑल हेयर मी एम आई ऑडिबल या परफेक्ट ओके गाइज सो टूडे आवर प्लान इज टू कंप्लीट टू थाउजेंड एटीन एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फोर्टी सो दैट्स अवर प्लान टूडे सो आई थॉट ऑफ कंप्लीटिंग इट क्विकली गाइज विदाउट फर्दर डिले सो डिड यू ऑल डू दी एम सी क्यूज गाइज so yesterday itself i dropped a message in the group to complete the 2000 mc uh, 2018 mcqs from 1 to 40 uh, can i know did you all do it how many of you all did yeah some student has completed half others 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 just let it be whether you have completed it or no no issues at all i just want to check how many of you all have completed out here if you all have completed fine if you all haven't completed guys uh, no issues you all can just come uh, just check the answer along with me but uh, as i always say guys uh, it's your side it's a online class it's all who should work actually so uh, so don't keep me to say again and again and again and again so i hope you people are matured enough to understand why it is important kela so from next class onwards guys uh, make sure that you all do it and come to get the maximum out of this session guys so the one so didn't complete today no issues no worries uh, you all can understand everything so so guys uh, next class we will be doing 2018 part 2 right so for the part 2 at least you all can do it and come so no issues guys so let's quickly start today's paper so we will be doing from 2018 paper we will be doing from what 2018 from the beginning i will be doing what one by one mcqs with the theory part everything so i want you people to concentrate properly ask all your doubts clear all your doubts and go out from this session so guys uh, can i get a quick confirmation are you all ready to go can i get a quick confirmation others 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 so you can quickly continue just confirm quickly yeah perfect okay guys so let's do one by one let's do one by one so please ask your doubts and clarify now we did what we did 2015 paper so 2015 part 1 and part 2 is uploaded to the youtube and 2016 paper we did and it is also completed and it is also uploaded to the youtube and 2017 paper is also what both part 1 and part 2 is completed and uploaded it to the youtube so in case if any of you all uh, were not there in this session it is uploaded in the youtube guys you all can just go and what check for free of charge no any payment or anything you all can just go and check through what youtube please go and check guys i have explained enough and more uh, questions how the questions will be tested how to answer the questions so those things i explained guys so you all can go through it so today our target is to what complete the 2018 mcq part 2018 mcq part so no worries guys no hurry so anything we can leisurely complete this so let's go one by one so answer the question number 1 to 5 paying attention to the following case 1 to 5 paying attention to the following case so they will be giving you all a simple case guys according to that case you are supposed to answer five question so these are kind of a bonus marks okay nothing difficult just read the thing now you people know english very much no guys so just it's kind of an english and all they will be giving ah uh, that kind of a question just go through it see samadhi who is currently working at ravi mal company so let me highlight what i feel as important so samadhi who is currently working at ravi mal company and the best performer at gce a level 2017 in nelumvila mahavidyala of which new laboratory and building were developed by the concept of the new uh, concept of the nearest school is best they re and received a letter from university grant commission mentioning that she has been selected to the university now you people should be brave enough to understand what they are talking about so here they are talking about a person or the uh, one uh, student or anyone called as samadhi who she was working at a company it seems Ah, uh, she did the she did her A level at Nelumvila Mahavidyalaya. It seems ah, uh, where in that school they are building a what laboratory and building it in under the concept name of uh, the nearest school is the best. Is. So this is until her school. Ah, uh, now what they are saying ah, uh, this Samadhi she is receiving a letter from what 
University of Grand Commission mentioning that she has been selected for the university. This is the simple case they have given. Now what they are asking, what is the basic human need satisfied by Nelumvila Mahavidyala in this case? Come on guys, Nelumvila Mahavidyala, what do they fulfill? Nelumvila Mahavidyala, obviously it's a school, right? What need do they fulfill? Uh, they are fulfilling the need of what? Education. Very easy. Next one is what? What type of business organization does the university grant commission in this case belong to? Can I get the answer from you people? Like I in seminar series and all, I gave you all a proper explanation on this, how to figure out killer. Can I get the answer? For the second question, how to get the answer? Say me that. Can I know how to get the answer for the second uh, question? Some people are saying it has two, others, others. Some people are saying it has four. Some people are saying it has uh, one. Can I know how to figure out the answer? Can I know how to figure out the answer for this question? Okay. Guys, uh, no worries whether you all have attended for my session or not. Uh, for the seminar series, no worries. I will explain it again one more time here. Please concentrate. There is something called state cooperation. No, guys. There is something called as what? State cooperation KLI in your book. There is something called as what? State cooperation. Now, what is mean by the state cooperation? IT is a type of organization where fully or majority is owned by the government. There are some similar names for state cooperation. There are, there are somewhat similar names for state cooperation. What are those similar names I told you? Can you people say me? First one we can say as what? First one we can say as what? We can say it as board. We can say it as what? Boards. We can say it as what? Bureau. Okay, we can say it as what? Bureau. We can say it as what? We can say it as what? Commission. We can say it as what? Commission. What else, guys? We can say it as what? Authority. We can say it as what? Authority. Now, what you people should understand is, what you people should understand is, these are some ne similar names for the state corporation. These are some what? Similar name for the state corporation. So, what you should understand is, what you should understand is, soon after you see the word commission, what should click to your head? Ah, come on, it is a similar name for the state corporation. Therefore, your answer should be what? State corporation. There is no any other way to find the answer, guys. University Grant Commission, you people will be definitely confused whether it is a state department or state corporation. Did you understand how to get the answer? Ah, we have studied something called state corporation. That state corporation have some similar names. What are those similar names? Board, Bureau, Commission, Authority. Ah, one of that similar name is Commission. Therefore, you can go with the answer number one. Guys, can I know? Did you all understand? There can be a question from like this in your paper also because this is 2018, guys. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Almost four years is gone. So, in the fifth year, they can put this and test in your paper. So, make sure that you all understand properly. They can put the word board in your paper. They can put the word bureau in your paper. They can put the word authority in your paper. Uh, what you people should understand? You all should be brave enough to understand and tackle the question properly. If they use the word board, bureau, commission, authority, uh, they are talking about what? They are talking about what? State corporation. Okay. Simply remember, state corporation have some other similar names. If they give any other similar name, they are referring to what? state corporation. So answer should be what? First one. Very easy. Next one is what? Select the cons uh, correct statement regarding the above case. Select the correct statement regarding the above case. So let's go one by one. The concept the nearest school is the best uh, is an economic environmental factor. Come on. Under the economic environmental factor, did we study anything like that? No, right? We studied as what? Inflation, interest rate, uh, foreign exchange rate, savings. Uh, so those are the things we studied under the economic environmental factor, right? So did we study anything called uh, the concept near a school is the best or anything? No. Therefore, first one is incorrect. Second one is what? Second one is what? The building of the school belongs to the factors of production land. You people say me, building is it land? Building is it a land? Land means is it a natural resource? Uh, no, building is a man-made thing, right? So therefore, it is a what? It is a capital. They are saying it as land, no? Uh, therefore, you can cut off the what? Second option also. Third one is what? University Grant Commission is a service providing business. Seems correct, right? University of Grant Commission means they are kind of offering an education service, right? So you can go with that answer. Let's check the fourth one also and come. Fourth one, what they are saying? Uh, students of Nelumvila Mahavidyala 
are an external environmental factor. Students are they external or internal? Students are they external or internal? Uh, students are internal, no guys. They are seeing it as external. Therefore, definitely fourth one is also wrong. We can go with our what? Third option. We can go with the what? Third option. Next one is what? Fourth one, see. Select the answer which shows the what? Sender, message, medium, and receiver related to the communication in the above case. Now, I told you people, no guys, who is sending this message? Our uh, university in simple scene. If I want to say you people, what's happening? Uh, that university's grant commission is uh, sending a letter for whom? Uh, sending a letter to our Samadhi saying that she has selected for the university. So that's what they have given you all indirectly. So who is the sender here? Uh, sender is the what? Obviously, the sender is the university grant commission. So I can cut off the option number two and one. Next one, sender. Next one, they're asking for the what? Message. What's the message, guys? Uh, that she has been selected for the university. So obviously, you can go with the what, guys? Third answer. Do you want to check the other options also? No, right? Because second one here, written, it seems. Written is not a, what? Uh, written is not the message, no, guys? Written is a media. So you can go with the what? Option number three. Finally, who is receiving? Some of these receiving. So for the fourth one, answer should be what? Third one. Next one, fifth one, see, select this correct statement about Ravi Mal company in this case. They are talking about what? Ravi Mal company. Now, guys, please don't be confused with the term company. Now, please don't be confused with the term company. Are they saying it as company private limited or anything like that? Ravi Mal company private limited or Ravi Mal company public limited. Are they mentioning like that? Are they mentioning like that? If they mention like that, you can consider it as an incorporated company. You can consider it as a company. Remember, if they have mentioned as what? Private limited. If they have mentioned as what? Private limited. Or if they have mentioned as what? Public uh, PLC. If they have public limited company. If they have mentioned something like that after this name, you can consider it as a company. So you can go with the answer what? Limited liability. Uh, what? Uh, limited liability have legal personality you can go with that but here they don't mention as what company that right? uh, so we can't consider this ravimal company as a company guys example if you are starting a business alone you can start with the name of a ravimal company still your business can be a sole proprietorship business but your business name is ravimal company is there any problem to start like that no you can start it right but if you want to make it as a private limited or public limited then only it will become actual incorporated company here, just they are using the name of company. No? Uh, now, see here. Now, see this part properly. Let's go for the answer one by one. First one, see. So, it, this business can be a what? Sole proprietorship or partnership. So, we can't consider it as a company. Now, go for the answer. Business has a legal entity? No. Business has a legal entity? No. Limited liability? No. Limited liability? No. Now, we are supposed to go with the answer what? Now, we are supposed to go with the answer number 105. So our answer will be either public sector business or our answer will be what? Uh, what? Our answer will be what? Registration of the business name is compulsory. Now, which one is the most accurate and correct answer? Which one is the most accurate and correct answer? Which one is the most accurate and correct answer? So I told you people as what? Ravi Mal company is a sole proprietorship or partnership business. Can I told you it can be a sole proprietorship or partnership business. So if it is a sole proprietorship or partnership, is it belongs to public sector or private sector? Is it belongs to private sector or public sector? Uh, it is belongs to private sector, no, as you people are saying. So can we go with the answer public sector? No, so it is most appropriate to go with the answer number one. Registration of the business name is compulsory. Definitely, if you are doing a business name with the name of Ravimal company, so definitely we should register it. Right? Will anyone have the full name of Ravimal company? No, right? So definitely this business should be registered. So registration of the business name is what? Compulsory. Can I know, did you all understand the first five questions? Can I know, did you all understand the first five questions? Can I know, did you people understand the first five questions? Others, 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 others. Yeah. Okay. Six question. Six question, very easy. Just go through six questions. Here. What is the factors of product, factor of production that a business which is conducted successfully by a farmer Bearing the loss occurred in floods belongs to. Is it farmer? Is it a natural resource? No. Farmer is it a 
man may think yes he is a labor no, actually he is a person guys but is he working as a labor like is he an employee of that organization is he employee of that organization no right he is bearing the loss guys so if he is bearing the loss he is behaving like a owner right he is kind of the owner of that business so therefore labor you can't go with the answer labor capital also definitely farmer is not a man made thing no guys you should go with the answer as what entrepreneurship so what did we study for the definition of entrepreneurship a uh, entrepreneurship means what combining factors of production such as land labor capital and starting the business so who will be doing this business guys uh, this farm only will be doing that combining land labor capital and starting the business and in case of occurring a loss of profit that belongs to the farmer so you can go with the answer what here they are specifically talking about that farmer so the answer should be what entrepreneurship so the answer should be what entrepreneurship seventh uh, seventh one moving on to the seventh question increase in the value of american dollar see how easy the questions are increase in the value of american dollar relative to the value of sri lankan rupee for a garment uh, uh, for a garment exporting companies now say me guys american dollar and sri lankan rupee so what are they talking about 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 ah uh, they are talking about what guys they are talking about exchange rate right they are talking about what they are simply they are talking about exchange rate they are talking about what exchange rate so what do we know we know that exchange rate is a what economic environmental factor right very direct question very direct question so we know that they are talking about exchange rate we people know exchange rate is a factor of economic environment therefore you can go with the answer number 2 no internal no legal or no technological guys so it is directly exchange rate no so nothing to explain over here also so you can directly go with the what economic environment as exchange rate is one of the factor of what economic environment go for the eighth question and ninth question okay now see here subhas kaviratna who has a current account holder in boc now who is the person guys let me draw a small diagram for you people to make it clear so there is a person called as subhas there is a person called as subhas there is a person called as subhas he is having an account in what bank of silo issued a check issued a check worth rupees 100000 to a client client's name deepal client's name is what deepal and deepal samaritne encashed it to a cash counter sorry encashed it at the bank account this is the scenario they have given now go for the uh, question what they are asking select the answer which shows which shows growing and pay which shows what growing and pay now who, now example let me name this guys who is subhash here can you people say me ah uh, subhash is giving the check who is subhash here who is subhash here who is subhash here ah uh, subhash is the what subhash is the drawer subhash is the drawer i told you what the drawers bank is considered as drawee ah uh, now we figured out subhash is the drawer now we figured out subhash is the drawer that subhash is having the bank account in boc so that boc is considered as what drawee always remember drawee is a bank always remember drawee is a bank no one can change that now who is the payee here ah uh, who is receiving the money finally our deepal is receiving the money our deepal is receiving the money so deepal is the what the policy pay the policy pay now according to this question they are asking for the drawee and pay so our answer should be what boc and boc and deepal so what's our answer boc and deepal you can go with the answer number 1 you can go with the answer number 1 next one is what the check issued in the above case okay now see here they are encashing this check through what they are encashing this check through what can i know where are they encashing this check are uh, they are encashing this check in a bank counter so remember remember if it is a cross check if it is a cross check can you get the money from the bank counter if it is a cross check can you get the money from the bank counter yeah if you if the cross is check sorry uh, if the check is cross can you get the money from the bank counter ah uh, no right definitely a cross check should be deposited in the account you can't get the money from the bank counter therefore obviously our answer can't be what first one and what first one and sorry obviously our answer can't be the what 
first one and second one if it is a cross check where it should be what it should be what deposited it should be what deposited here simply he is taking from the account means what uh, that check has not a crossing there is no any crossing for that check that's the reason where he can get the money from what bank counter next one is what cannot be deposited in a bank current account he can deposit he can deposit but does he want to deposit necessarily no right it is a not cross check it is a check without any crossing so simply he can get the money from the bank account as he has done so therefore you can go with the answer number three next one is what the first party of the insurance is what very direct no guys who is the first party first party is in, in first party is the what the person who has got the insurance cover right so first party is insured and second party is what insurer so insurer can the relevant insurance company so what should be the answer the second one should be the what answer anyone with the second five questions anyone with any doubt with the second five question anyone with any doubt with the second five question give a reply quickly so we can move on Yeah, a student is having a doubt in the ninth question. Okay, ninth question, what they are saying? Okay, the check issued in the above case. So they have given four options, right? Now here, what they are saying? This check has been encashed to a bank account or no? So what, you, so what you should understand is, what you should understand is, if it is a cross check, if it is a what? If it is a cross check, that can be general crossing or special crossing, anything. So if it is a cross check, if it is a what? Cross check. If it is a what? Cross check. It should be what deposited. It should be what deposited. Now here in this case, are they depositing? No, they are getting the money from the bank counter here. They are directly getting the money from the bank counter. So if they can get the money from the bank counter, what you should understand is definitely it's a check without any crossing. So for the ninth question, you can go with the answer number three. Okay. Okay, a student is having a doubt in six question. Okay, six question, they are mainly talking about what? They are mainly talking about the farmer, right? Example, that farmer is the person who combined these factors of production of land, labor, capital, and he is the one who is doing this business, right? He is, he is the one who is bearing the loss, right? So, therefore, if they are talking about specifically about the farmer, uh, we consider that farmer as the main person, main owner of that business. So we studied right the person who combined land, labor, capital and starting the production process is known as entrepreneurship. So farmer is the person who is playing that role there. Farmer is the person who is combining land, labor, capital and doing this. Uh, therefore that farmer is considered as what? The entrepreneurship. Simple as that. Okay. Let's move on to the 11th question guys. Okay. 11th question by seeing itself you can understand. What is the, What are they asking? What is a non-electronic sign communication method from the above picture? It's kind of a, guys, trust me, it is kind of a scholarship question. In scholarship and all, have you all done questions like this? In scholarship papers and all, have you all done questions like this? Definitely all would have done, right? That that kind of a question they are giving, guys. What are they asking? Non-electronics and anyone by seeing itself, you can understand, right? In the road and all, they have put what? That pedestrian crossing thing, that is non-electronic, right? So you can definitely go with the answer number four. Other things you don't need, but it is electronic guys, loudspeaker, this traffic light and telephone, everything is connected to it. Everything is connected to electronic, right? Only that pedestrian crossing, that board which they have put in the road, that is an unelectronic thing. Okay. Right. Twelfth question, several indicates relates to the transportation, the elements of transportation are given in column X and Y. So they have given you all four things. So, so you are supposed to figure out one by one. Let's go with a very easy one, guys. Let's go with a very easy one. Out of this, just check the third one. Let me also think as a student. Let me also think as a student. Now, if I am sitting in the exam like you people, what I will be doing is, trust me, what I will be doing is what? First one, see the third one. Renovation of central bus stand in PETA. So, it is more like a terminal. Very easy to identify. Uh, so, I will be matching like this. So, our third, uh, for the third option, for the third one, our answer should be D. For the third one, our answer should be D. Uh, now, this answer might be my answer. Or this can be our answer. So I can easily cut off these two. Did you understand what did I do here? Did you understand what did I do here? This is the way you all also should do in the exam. Did you all understand what I do here? I figured out that our PETA is a terminal, which is a bus stand. Easily we can figure out. So my definitely my answer for the third one should be D. 
So I cut off the second option and fourth option because the answer is not D. Did you all understand? Can I get the reply from everyone? Can I get the reply from everyone? Did you all understand why did I uh, cut off the second option and fourth option? Yes, you all understood. Okay. Now, now let's go for the next one. Uh, see, adjusting your oil prices based on the crude oil price in the world market. Guys, crude oil is used as a fuel, right? Crude oil is used as a uh, power, right? So you can go with and match with the what? For the fourth one, you can match with the what? For the fourth one, you can match with the what? See. So my answer can be this one. He also see. Uh, now I can't eliminate anything. Why? Because both the answer contains of C. Let me keep as it is. Next one, let me go what? Commencing the construction of Northern Expressway. Here, way, right? They are putting an expressway. Definitely it is coming for way. So for my second one, answer should be what? A. So second one, answer should be what? A. Here, this one A. So I can cut off this option also. So for my uh, final one, ambulance is a what? Ambulance is the mode. So I can go with the what? Option 3. See how easy. Like uh, we don't want to be use this much of time also guys. We can just simply by uh, checking one or two, we can get the answer. But I am explaining you people how to uh, get this one. Whatever the subject guys, if they have given you like this question, if you know only one or two, you can play a part, proper brave game and you can get this answer. What you should understand here is what, or first thing what you should understand is, go and select the easiest one. From that easiest one, eliminate some options. Ah, then the, the possibility of making mistake is low, no guys? Understood. Do like that. That is very, very easiest way. Now, first thing, what did I do? I got the answer D. So, I can easily cut off two options. So, in a way, you are making, you are like the possibility of making mistake is wrong, no guys? Sorry, low, no? Ah, do like that. So, this kind of a question definitely will be in your paper, okay? Related to the stakeholders, you know, they will be giving. So, do the same thing and what? Get the answer. Next one, see? Okay. Uh, what are they saying here? Answer the question number 13 and 14 using the following case. A publisher decided to reserve his exhibition stall behind the main entrance of Colombo International Book Fair and recruited an employee for it to management function in the above case. Okay, what's the management function, guys? Okay, let me explain one more time. Okay, what's the key? What's the abbreviation I ask all to remember? Policy. Policy. What is mean by P, guys? So I'm not going to write everything. What is the abbreviation I told you people to remember? Policy. So P stands for what? Planning. So what is mean by planning guys? What's the one word I taught you people to remember? What's the one word I taught you people to remember? Planning means what? From the initial class onwards I am saying. What's the one word you people should remember for the planning? Uh, very good. You all should remember what? You all should remember deciding or determining. Decide or determining. Both gives the same meaning. Okay. What's the one word you all should remember for organizing? What's the simplest word I told you? What's the simple thing I told you to remember for organizing? Uh, just remember as what? Doing. I told you people to remember as what? Doing. Yes, you can say appointed also. But what, 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 what I taught you people is what? Remember it as doing. They are doing something in simple terms. For the leading, it is connected to whom? For the leading, it is connected to whom? Uh, leading, I told you people, it is connected to what? Uh, human, like motivating, instructing those. Things. For the controlling, I, I told you people to what? Uh, comparing the planned and actual results. Comparing the what? Planned and actual results. So this is the simplest thing I taught you to remember. No. Now let's go for the answer option. See, two management function in the above case. So let me figure out the easiest one. See, uh, they are what the publisher decided. And decided means what? We have planning. So this can be our answer. This can be our answer. So I can cut off the option number uh, four and three. Now next one, let me go for the to reserve the exhibition stall behind the main entrance of Colombo International Book Fair and recruited, come on, recruited, can they are doing something, right? They are taking an employee, they are doing something, which means you can go with the what? Answer of organizing. So you can go with the answer number two. Guys, did you all understand? If you know these simple terms, you can get the answer, guys. Right? This is not a difficult subject. P and A means what? Comparing the planned and actual results. Controlling means what? Comparing the planned and actual. That's what I have put as P and A. Okay. Next one is what? Two variable of marketing is mentioned in the above case. What's the abbreviation you, you people should remember for the marketing mix? Everything is here. What's the marketing mix you should remember for the marketing mix? Uh, for the marketing mix, you all should remember as what? Four piece. Marketing mix, you all should remember as what? Four piece. Product, price, place, promotion. Product, price, and product price, place, and promotion. 
Now, what are the asking two variable of marketing mix mentioned in the above case? So definitely, I can go with the answer as what uh, exhibition stall behind the main entrance of Colombo International. So that means they are talking about place. That means they are talking about what place. So if they are talking about place, I can cut the option number one and I can cut the option number four. So my answer should be either third one or second one. So I can go with the promotion, right? Why do they uh, do that in exhibition to promote their product, right? So I can simply go with the second one. They don't talk anything about their product, right? So simply I can go with the what? Second option for the third 14 question. Guys, you don't understand. How did I figure out the answer? Guys, if you play a proper role, you can get the answer, okay? Even if you don't know the answer, like if you shape again, if you know the theory, you can manage and get the answer easily. Guys, in controlling the, what is this? This is comparing the what? Planned and actual results. Planned and actual results. Okay. Guys, did you all understand? Okay. Yeah. 15th one, uh, select the incorrect statement regarding treasury bill. Correct statement or incorrect statement? And now you people are good in doing that, no guys? You people are however good in making mistakes. So easily you all can get the incorrect one, right? What's the incorrect one here? Can you all get the answer quickly? An investor can purchase treasury bill from primary dealers. Yes, they can purchase. They should purchase from primary dealers only. So that is correct. Treasury bills are risk-free investment. Yes, there is no any risk because you are investing in government. That is also fine. Treasury bills used to fulfill the long-term financial requirement of the government. Okay. I'm receiving the answer that this is the answer, Kela. Can you people say me why it is incorrect? Can you all say me why this makes incorrect? What's the, what's, like, what word make it incorrect? Ah, uh, very good. Remember, guys, what we have studied for the treasury bill. Ah, uh, it is a short-term financial instrument, no. Ah, uh, here they are saying it as what? Long-term, Kela. So, it is not a long-term. Treasury bill is a what? A short term. Therefore, it makes a what? Wrong. Therefore, you can go with the what? Third option. And final one is also obviously correct. Right? Why? Because absolute uh, absolute government security will be given when you are investing in treasury bill. Guys, uh, are you all clear with the first 15? I don't see any difficult questions here. Guys, what is mean by treasury bill? Guys, uh, in 2017 paper or something, I explained in detail. Uh, can you remember? Uh, a student is asking to explain treasury bill. Uh, no worries, I can explain because I explained it one more time by taking around 10 to 15 minutes. So in case if you are not there in the session, it is already uploaded to the YouTube. So in case if you cannot find that part, you can just drop me a text. Uh, so I can send you the link on that part. You can just go through it. So no point of explaining it again. I have put a diagram and all and I explained it in detail in a part two question. Is it okay? Can you go through it? Is it okay? Yes, perfect. Okay. Yeah, let's go for the 16 question, guys. Uh, yeah, an investor expects high return by investing in ordinary shares than investing in treasury bill. The reason for this, okay, why he is investing high return from ordinary shares? What's the reason? Why, why he is expecting high return? return will be high when the what guys uh risk is i i told you right there is a what relationship there is a positive relationship between what there is a positive relationship between the risk and return so if that person is having high risk if that person is having a what sorry if that person is having a high return from ordinary shares if that investor is having high return from ordinary shares definitely there is a high risk also associated with it right so you can go with the answer number Low risk, wrong. High interest income for ordinary shares, no. High government security, no way. Government in uh, ordinary shares is not at all related to the government, no guys. So you can go with the what? Option number two. Okay, yeah. Now, now this is all about the what guys? This is all about the what? Business studies part. So this 16 question, there will be definite 16 to 15 MCQs guys. Either 16 or 15 MCQs will be there from, there from what? Business studies area. Okay. Yeah. For the treasury bill, you can say low risk. Treasury bill, you can say low risk. So as I uh, told you people that day also, exactly we can't say guys what, what has high risk and what has low risk. Here. It depends from option to option. Example, when they give us what 
when they give treasury bill and ordinary shares what will happen our uh, ordinary share is high risk treasury bill is low risk like that if they have given us properties and treasury bill ah uh, then also it might be very right so it depends from question to question and the options to option so so based on this question is what ah uh, investing in treasury bill you can get a high return because of what ah uh, the risk is high in i hope you people understood it okay a student is having a doubt in 14 question okay 14 question what are they saying two variables of marketing mix mention in the above case so what are the two variables you can find see here so you people know guys the four marketing mix are what product price place promotion right product price place and promotion now here they are talking about a place right can you see that part here they are talking about place behind the main entrance of kalambu international book fair they are talking about some kind of a place right ah uh, therefore you can take this answer yeah therefore this answer is correct this one also will be correct therefore i cut off the option number 1 and 4 now you should find whether is it promotion or product right they don't talk about any of their product right but they are talking about promotion i see why do they put in the exhibition store why do they go for the exhibition or anything to do, do their promotional activities right so therefore you can go with the second option simple as that okay yeah now let's go for the accounting question guy one by one okay uh, can you all answer the 17 question can i get the answer from everyone 2025 kids will be doing this basic accounting equation what's the answer okay what's the accounting equation you people know what's the accounting equation you people know asset is equal to equity plus liability okay first thing what what they have done they have subjected the equity they have subjected the equity so you also subject and subject equity how to subject equity plus liability comes to this side what will happen asset minus liability will be equal to equity is that the equation they have given no they have given a plus so it is wrong here they have given as what asset minus liability is equal to equity that is the correct one right just subject the relevant thing and get the answer guys okay so for the 17th one answer should be what second one 18th question because of paying employee salary rupees 8000 in a business what will happen let me use the same accounting equation quickly so when you are paying rupees 8000 salary what will happen minus 8000 minus 8000 cash so i told you people definitely an expense will decrease the equity so minus 8000 as what salary so what you can go with the answer asset is decreasing by 8000 so this is correct this is correct this is wrong this is wrong because they are saying asset increases no uh, next one is what equity decreases right so equity decreases so you can go with the answer number what one for the 18 to 20 you all understand how to get the answer one nothing difficult here guys okay just it's a matter of doing the question properly without being confused and also guys what i am supposed to say you people is when the exams are coming near by near definitely you all will be having a high pressure so what you should do is guys like you all will be have have you all like do you all have a feeling right now like as you all forget everything like are uh, you all are forgetting everything or a doubt comes and you all are in a confusion whether will all be able to do the questions whether will i be able to manage the time will I, whether will i be able to do the questions will the exam paper be easy or difficult do you all have those things it feels like uh, when you are trying a question or like when you now just when you think about science you will feel like ah, i am forgetting the thing so like that kela guys remember that is not the actual thing that is for just for the sake of your mind so don't think those things guys definitely what you have studied is stored in your mind somewhere whatever you have studied guys trust me it is somewhere stored in your mind so what you should do is be calm properly recall it and do the paper so even the once after you have gone for the exam if you have forgot something remember guys it is somewhere in your mind somewhere it is stored guys so what you should do is uh, you should properly recall it once after you panic already you forgot the thing already now if you are panicking also then it will be a problem no guys just stay calm just stay calm and think think properly you will be able to get the answer now you people have covered everything no guys from grade 1 to 11 you all are studying you all are attending seminars you all are going for the workshops you all are attending everything ne? so still everything you have studied and still if you can't manage a paper properly that's only because of your fear stress those things so get rid of those things guys at least with this last moment and also uh, those phones and those things and all guys 
try to not use much as possible so only for the classes you all can come other than that guys try to avoid those phones and other distraction whatever if the phone is not a distraction no problem other than whatever the distractions you all have these days please keep it aside guys how many days you all are having i don't exactly whether is it 25 or 28 maybe 25 26 27 11. however less than 30 30 days no guys you all are having i don't know the exactly how many days you all are having but uh, you all have only few days right so for those few days for that few days put a proper plan put a proper plan keep all your distractions away and do it guys later you will cherish this moment now if you all play the fool now later definitely you all will regret guys so to not to regret and to be happy uh, to be happy later to do the things properly later so this is your initial exam no guys maybe you all would have done the biggest exam as scholarship in the grade 5 but that scholarship also did you all search for the classes no your parents search for the classes your parents used to, used to drop you in the classes so everything parents know guys did uh, now you all are the one this is the first exam you all are going to do by your own now this is the first exam after that a level higher study like that one 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 by one will be coming but this is the initial exam that you people are going to face by your own right am i correct now no one will know what classes you went for scholarship and all like that is the thing your parents did know guys you all just wrote only the exam uh, but this is the o level exam is the exam where you all went for the classes where you all prefer uh, you all went classes with your friends uh, so you went everything where you want so make sure that same like that you all also get a proper result so trust me guys this is the base if you do this o level exam properly everything after that will be going properly in a proper trick if you mess up with this yes you can come up in life but the majority will be what uh, what going in a different way guys so make sure that you all do this whole all exam properly after that one by one everything will be perfect so this is a kind of a message which i want to give you people so just have this in mind guys so don't have don't have that stress so anything in mind everything is stored somewhere in your mind guys so it's just a matter of recalling it it's just a matter of revising these days and get the things done properly okay yeah so i hope you all are okay with the first 18 question so let me quickly go on to the what 19 question okay guys and also for the business studies don't wait till the last moment uh maybe until like uh, may 3rd or 4th just finish it completely and don't study the business studies just revise or practice questions uh, within the exam days and stay focused and do the other subjects properly guys as you are having this at the last day so most probably the day before the exam if you are having the exam, I, I think you are having the exam Wednesday, no? Somewhere at the uh, last day, Wednesday only, I'll be having the exam. So maybe Tuesday night or something, I'll be doing kind of a revision also. So you all can stay in the group. I'll be giving the relevant update, guys, uh, what to do and how to do the questions and all. So you all can just attend that and also and see. So this past paper session also, guys, please don't take this for granted. Please don't take this for granted. It is really useful, guys. If you practice the past papers properly and go for the exam, only the numbers will be changed in your paper only the numbers will be changed all the theory parts will be same guys so you all will be easy to tackle the questions so guys moving on to the question number 19 moving on to the question number 19 the equity of kasun's business as at 1st of january 2018 is 150000 while equity as at 31st january was 170000 if only one transaction occurred during that period the transaction is Okay, now let me put a small accounting equation. Asset is equal to equity plus liability. Opening equity was 150,000, it seems. Opening equity was 150,000, it seems. The closing equity is how much? The closing equity is how much? 170,000, it seems. So what you all can understand, uh, during the period, our equity has increased by how much? During the period, our equity has increased by how much? 20,000. Now same equity will be increasing for how many reasons? Equity will be increasing for how many reasons? I told you in the class. Equity will be increasing for how many reasons? Equity will be increasing for how many reasons? Uh, equity will be increasing because of income. Because of income. Or it will be increasing because of what? Because of what? Capital. Now, what are you supposed to do? Just figure out an uh, answer. What is income or like it is connected to uh, capital. So that's what you should do here. So let me go one by one. Employing the capital of rupees 170,000. 
So is it 170,000? No, it should be a plus 20,000. Uh, therefore, you can't go with the option number one. Therefore, you can't go with the option number one. Second one, see, obtaining goods of rupees 20,000 by the owner for his personal use. Come on, it, it's a drawings, right? It's a drawing. So drawings will increase liquidity or decrease liquidity. Drawings will increase liquidity or decrease liquidity. It will decrease, right? Here we should get answer plus 20,000. Therefore, you can't go with the answer number two also. Go for the third one. Selling a stock of goods for rupees 40,000 on credit, which cost rupees how much? Which cost rupees 60,000. So is that the correct answer? Selling a stock of goods for rupees 40,000 on credit, which cost 60,000. Guys, is that the correct answer? Is that the, here the examiner is testing your patience, guys? Now, see here what are what he is saying the cost is 60,000, you are selling it for 40,000. Come on, there is a profit or loss. There is a profit or loss. There is a profit or loss. Uh, there is a loss, right? Just think, just think from the third transaction, from the third transaction. Cost is 60,000, cost is 60,000 and your selling price is how much here? Sold for how much? 40,000. You are selling for how much? 40,000. Uh, come on, there is a what? Loss of how much? There is a loss of how much? 20,000. Loss is a positive figure or negative figure? Definitely that's a negative figure. So is it a negative figure what we are searching for? No, we are searching for a positive one, niggas. Therefore, you can't go with the answer number three also. So definitely your answer should be what? Fourth one. Let's check fourth one is correct or wrong here. Let's check the fourth one. What's happening in the fourth one? Selling a stock of goods for rupees 60,000, which cost 40,000. And here what's happening? Fourth transaction here what's happening? Cost is 40,000. You are selling price is 60,000. Therefore, definitely you have a profit of how much? There is a profit of how much? There is a profit of 20,000. So you can go with the answer number four. Did you all understand? Easily all can get the answer. Only thing is all should not be confused with the second uh, third one. Because third one it's a loss. Loss means it's a minus. So we are searching for a positive. So you can't go with the third one. You should go with the what? Fourth option. Right? Okay. Next one is what? Okay. Now see the next one. A transaction occurred in a business and incomplete double entry used to record it are given below. So let me quickly record it in the accounting equation and show you. Asset is equal to. Okay, let me take it a bit below. Guys, if you all know this part properly, you all can do many questions. Eh? See here, asset is equal to equity plus liability. So let me record this transaction in accounting equation. See, receiving rupees 22,000 in cash from a debtor to be paid off 25,000. So debtor should pay how much? 25,000. So minus 25,000, minus 25,000. Who should pay us? Debtors. But actually, he is paying us only how much cash? Uh, he is paying only 22,000 cash. He is paying only how much, guys? Uh, 22,000 cash. Which means what has happened? Uh, we have given him a 3,000 of what? We have given a 3,000 of discount allowed. We have allowed a discount of 3,000. Did you all understand this? Did you all understand this? Can I get a quick confirmation? Did you all understand how did I record it in the accounting equation? Did you all understand how did I record it in the accounting equation? Simply, how did I record in the accounting equation? Just see what has happened. Receiving rupees 20,000 in cash. So if I am receiving 20,000 in cash here, cash will increase by 22,000. I received cash 22,000. So cash is increasing by 22,000. So in case of settling how much? Uh, for the purpose of receiving 25,000, I am receiving 22,000. So plus 22,000 cash will increase. Actually, from data, I am supposed to receive 25,000. Uh, therefore, I, I should deduct the complete 25,000. So, that difference of 3,000 is considered as what? Discount allowed. Now, you all should be able to understand that expense and drawings will decrease the equity gear. Now, see here. Now, see here. What are they asking? They have given some things and they are asking you to fill. Let me skip that part. Let me fill the double entry on my own. Let me do the double entry on my own. What's the double entry principle for assets? What's the double entry principle for assets? What's the double entry principle for assets? Asset increases debit or credit. Asset increases debit or credit. Uh, asset increases debit. Asset decreases credit. 
What's the double entry principle when equity decreases? What's the double entry principle when equity decreases? What's the double entry principle when equity decreases? Very good. When equity decreases, it should be what debited? Give me a minute. Yeah, when equity decreases, it should be what? Debited. Now let me draw the accounts. Let me write first. Okay, let me draw the accounts and show you. What are the accounts I should open? Give me a minute, guys. Guys, give me a minute. This pen used to play. Ah, yeah. Wait, yeah, fine. Give me a minute. Yeah. Now let me draw my accounts, guys. Let me draw my account. What are the accounts I should open? First one, I should open a what account? Debtors account. First one, I should open a what account? Debtors account. Second one, I should open a what account? I should open a what account? Cash account. I should open a what account? Cash account. Next one, I should open a what? The things which is inside the bracket. I'm opening accounts. I hope you all know these things here. Yeah? Discount allowed account. Discount allowed account okay now see this part properly now see this part properly data is increasing or decreasing now you all say me data is increasing or decreasing data is increasing or decreasing data is increasing or decreasing uh, data is what decreasing now if the data is decreasing the relevant data account should be debited or credited I'm asking from you people to see whether you all have understood it or not. If I can just do it and go guys, then it will be like a sermon. So I'm asking from you people again and again the answers. Then only I can understand whether you all have understood it or not. Okay, our data is decreasing means here. Data asset decreasing means it should be credit, right? So here I can credit how much? Here I can credit how much? 25,000. Now asset is increasing. Uh, asset cash is increasing or decreasing? Cash is increasing or decreasing? Cash is increasing or decreasing? First, put the first letter. If it is increasing, put I. Cash is increasing or decreasing? Uh, before the cash sign, there is a I know, guys. Uh, if it is increasing debit or credit, put the first letter. If it is a, if it is increasing debit or credit, cash account should be debited or credited. Cash account should be debited or credited. Uh, cash account should be debited only by how much? Only by this 22,000. Only by this 22,000. Now come for the equity part. Now you all told me equity decreasing means debit. Ne? Now discount allowed account should be debited or credited. Discount allowed account should be debited or credited. Equity decreasing means what's the double entry principle we have studied. Ah, uh, Discount allowed account also should be debited, right? Can I know by how much? Discount allowed account should be debited by 3000. Now that's what we are supposed to figure out here. First one see cash account debit by 22,000. Here they have directly given this. Second one is what? Ah. Uh, What's the other account that should be debited? Discount allowed, right? Here I can put as what? Here I can put as what? Discount allowed. Here I can put as what? Discount allowed. De also debited by how much? Discount allowed also debited by 3000. Next one, see. Debtor's account should be credited by how much? 25,000. So this is a complete explanation, guys, which I can give for this question. So I hope you all understood. So answer should be what? First blank, it should be discount allowed. Okay. Uh, second, it should be 3,000. Second, it should be what? 3,000. And third, it should be 25,000. So I can go with the answer number what? I can go with the answer number one. Okay. So I will say put the recording also in the YouTube by today night itself. You all can check it one more time. Okay. 21st question. What's happening? Select the correct statement from the following related to the principle of double entry. Okay. Principle of double entry. Can I know the principle of double entry guys? When assets and expenses, the thing what we discussed now. When assets and expenses increases what? When assets and expenses increases what? When assets and expenses increases what? Guys, others are you sleepy? Just give a reply quickly. Okay, when assets and expenses increases debit. When assets and expenses decreases credit. Next one is what? Income. Income. Equity and liability increases what? 
when these three things increases credit, decreases debit. Now let's go one by one. Increase debit, decrease credit relevant to liability account. Liability they are saying increase debit it seems. No wrong. Next one they are talking about equity. Ne? Uh, they are talking about equity. Equity, equity, sorry, increases debit. No, equity increases credit. No, so this is also out. Next one they are talking about what? Income. Income what's happening? Income increases credit. No, uh, increases credit, decreases debit in relevant account. So that is correct. No. So fourth one, uh, they are talking about what asset account. Asset account increases debit. So they are saying increases credit. Yeah. So then it's also what? Wrong. You can go with the what? Option number three. Very easy guys. Basic theory. Okay. Next one is what? Use the following information to answer question number 22 and 23. Some transaction occurred in Pasindu book publishers are given below. The transaction re recorded in purchase. Guys, I received many doubts from this also from people. Understand this part properly one last time. Understand this part properly. In order to record in the purchase journal, in order to record in the purchase journal, there should be two criteria. In order to record in the purchase journal, how many criteria should be there? Uh, there should be two criteria. First one, it should be a what? It should be a credit purchase. Also, it should be a what? Reselling good. It should be a what? Reselling good. Or else I can say it as what? It should be a what? It should be a stock. It should be a stock. It should be a what? Stock in order to record it in the purchase journal. Okay. Now let's go for the answer option one by one and see. Now you should understand what business is it. What business is it? Pub, uh, Pasindu book publisher. Okay. Now let's go for the answer one by one. The transaction recorded in purchase journal. Let's go one by one. See, purchasing a printing machine of rupees 250,000 on credit. Guys, say me, they are making a credit purchase fine. They are making a credit purchase fine. But say me, is the book publishers, they will be selling machine. Machine, is it a reselling good? Machine, is it a reselling good? Uh, machine is not a reselling good, right? Machine is a non-current asset. Therefore, only one criteria is fulfilled. Therefore, you can't take A as the answer. Go for the B. See, Purchasing printing papers of rupees 50,000 from Ruan on credit. Printing paper, they are purchasing on credit, fine. They are purchasing printing papers, which is their stock. Therefore, you can go with this one. Let's go for the other one. Purchasing furniture of rupees 100,000 from Moratu Furniture on credit. Credit purchase, fine, but they are purchasing furniture, which is an uncurrent asset. You can't take. We are searching for a reselling good. Next one is what? Selling a stock of books for rupees 100 and come on, it's not a credit purchase, right? It's a credit sales, right? Therefore, first criteria is itself not fulfilled. Therefore, you can go with the what? Answer to which is B. Therefore, you can go with the answer to which is B. Yeah, reselling good means it's a current asset. Well, reselling good means it's a stock, right? A stock is a current asset, no? Right? Next one is what? Uh, yeah, next one is what? Select the answer that shows the source document for a b and d guys make sure that you are understand properly they are saying it as what a b and d so don't worry about c yeah? don't don't worry about c what's the source document for a what's the source document for a purchasing a printing machine of rupees 250000 on credit what's the source document uh prime entry book is general journal means the source document is what journal voucher source document is what Journal voucher. So I can go with the this one is correct. This one is correct. Next one is what? B they asking of purchasing a printing papers of rupees 50,000 from Ruan on credit. So what's the source document? So if you are recording in purchase journal, what's the source document? Purchase invoice. And next one is what? They're asking for the D, right? What's happening on D? Selling a stock of books for rupees 160,000, which cost rupees 100,000 means what? Uh, they will be recording in what sales journal. Therefore, source document will be what? Sales invoice. They will be recording in what? Sales invoice. Guys, give me a minute. All of a sudden, this used to happen, guys, in this new pin. Wait, let me check on. Yeah, fine.
Okay, so here what should be there? If it is sales journal, what should be there? Sales invoice. So what should be the answer? Second one should be purchase invoice. Third one should be sales invoice. For the 23rd question, answer should be what? Second one. For this one also, answer should be what? Second one. Moving on to the 24th question. Moving on to the 24th question. Okay, perfect. You people are giving me the answers, right? Very good. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the 24th question. The credit balance of the bank statement of Kapila business for the month of October 2018 is rupees 12,000. Okay, now credit per. Okay, now I'll give you all a short note, guys, so I can just take it down. Remember, debit balance in bank account means what? Debit balance. Debit balance in bank account. So debit balance in bank account means it's a what? Assets. Remember, debit balance in bank account means it's an asset. Next one is what? Credit balance in credit balance in bank account means it's a what? It's a liability. In other words, we can say bank overdraft. Liability. Okay. In other words, you all can say as what? Bank overdraft. In other words, you can say it as what? Bank overdraft. In other words, you can say it as what? Bank overdraft. Okay. Third one, you can say it as what? Third one, you can say it as what? Debit. Debit. Balance. In in bank statement debit balance in what bank statement debit balance in what bank statement so debit balance in bank statement means again it's a what debit balance in bank statement means again it's a what liability remember this theory guys liability okay next one what you should remember credit balance Credit balance in bank statement. Credit balance in bank statement. So credit balance in bank statement means what? It's an asset. So just remember the short note, guys. Write it somewhere else in keep because they can ask out of this for anything in your paper. Because this is 2018, guys. Almost after five years, they can change this question for another thing. And they can put out of any of these four. They can put anything and they can give you in your paper. So to be on the safe side, guys, write all four and refer this and go for the exam. Now here they're asking what the credit balance in the bank statement. Now go here. Credit balance in the bank statement is what? Credit balance in bank statement is what? An asset for the business. You can go with the answer number one. Write that short note and keep, guys. It will be useful for you people. Okay, next one is what? Okay. The petty cash balance with the petty cash of Sadhun's business as at 31st July, which means what? Uh, at the end of the July, there is a balance of 2,500 during the month of July. This is the expense. They are going to increase the petty cash interest fine. Okay, now let's go one by one. The value of petty cash expenses for the month of January. Guys, is it a question to test from a O-level student? Is it a question to test from a O-level student? Simply they have given everything. They guys 24th question, nothing they have to explain. In the sense, you all should know this theory area. If it is a debit balance in the bank account, it's an asset. Why? Because it's a favorable balance. You are having some money in your bank, which means it's an asset for the business. Second one, if you are having a credit balance in your bank account, it's a liability. Why you have taken money from your bank. Therefore, it's a liability for you. In other words, we can see it as what? Bank overdraft. Again, debit balance in bank statement means opposite of this, you guys. It's a liability for the business. If you are maintaining a debit balance in the bank statement, you have borrowed some money from your bank. That's it. Bank is having asset. For the bank, it's asset. For the bank, it's asset. For the business, it's a liability. So I have put a liability. So these things are from business point of view. From business point of view, don't be confused. These asset liabilities are from whose point of view? Business point of view. Okay. Next one, credit balance in the bank statement means, again, it's a what? Asset. Credit balance in the bank statement means, for the bank, it's a liability. For the business, it's an asset. Simple as that. So, if I got a time, guys, I'll just uh, do a short note and I'll put in the group for you people to go through it. Okay? Yeah. Let me go through the 25th and 26th question, guys. How easy is it? They are clearly giving, these are the what? Total of the analysis column. Which means, these are the expenditure which has been taken place during the period. First one, they're asking us what? 
the value of the petty cash expenses value of the petty cash expense for stationery 2500 traveling refreshment and miscellaneous can i know what's the total guys what's the, what's the total of this that's the expense what's the total uh, what's the total 7500 so that is the answer that is the answer for this question next one say the value of petty cash reimbursement now you all should think a bit now you all should think a bit okay let me do this question okay I told you one thing no guys. What's the formula I explained your last uh, in the previous session? From impress, you should deduct what? Expenses for the month. And you will be able to get the what? Balance. So this is the formula which I taught your people in the previous sessions. Okay, now let me fill this part. Let me fill this part quickly. Okay, now see here. See what they are saying. The petty cash balance with the petty cash of Sadun's business as at 31st July means July in 31st July can a July in no uh, they are having a balance of how much 2500 they are having a balance of 2500 expense is how much here expense is how much we figured out as what 7500 so what you people should understand uh, after spending 7500 they are having a balance of 2500 means their interest will be 10,000 can I not you all understand this Let's assume your father is uh, giving some sort of a amount for you. You have spent 7,500 and still if you have a balance of 2,500 at the beginning, how much you would have had? Uh, you would have had 10,000 from that you spent 7,500 and you have a balance of 2,500. Did you all understand this? Did you all understand how did I got the impressed? Did you all understand how did I got the impressed here? Simply you can understand, right? Balance is 2,500. Balance is um, here. They have given the balance right here. They have given the balance as what? They have given the balance as 2,500. That's what I have put it over here. Expense we found as what? Expense for the period is 7,500. So simply you can understand. You have a balance of 2,500. After spending 7,500 means how much you would have had at the beginning. You would have had 10,000, right? Come on, basic, right? From 10,000 only, you spent 7,500 and you are having a balance of 2,500. Did you all understand this? I want the reply from everyone. Did you all understand how did I got that impressed 10,000? There will be a question from Petty Cash Book, definitely. That's how I got the what? It's just a matter of putting a reply here. Okay, that's how I got the what? Impressed. Now see what they are saying in the question. Now let's see what they are saying in the question. Uh, they are saying in the question as what Sadun decided to increase the value of petty cash interest up to 15,000. Up to how much? 15,000. Okay. Now this one is when guys, this one is what July end right here. July end no here. 31st July means July end. So from 1st of January, they are going to increase the interest to how much? They are going to increase the impress up to how much? Uh, 15,000. Now, earlier our impress was only 10,000. Now, our impress is 15,000. Now, can you people say me from the balance of 7,000? Uh, sorry, so from the balance of 2,500, how can I come to the level of 1,000? Sorry, sorry. From the balance of 2,500, how can I come to the level of 15,000? How can I come to the level of 15,000? How much should be reimbursed further? How much should be reimbursed further? Uh, there should be a reimbursement of 12,500, right? That's the idea here. You have a balance of 2,500, but you are supposed to come to the level of 15,000. So further, how much should be reimbursed there? Further, how much should be reimbursed there? 12,500. So check whether do you have an answer option 12,500? Uh, 2,500. Yeah, you have an answer option, right? So that is your answer. That is your answer. Simple as that. Okay. So you can put the answer as what? Third one. Okay. 26 answer should be what? Third one. Next one. Let's move on to the 27th question. Select the answer which shows the source document and prime entry book. They are asking for the what? See here. See how I can eliminate the answer. They are asking for the what? Source document and prime entry book. They are asking for the what? Source document and prime entry book. Can you take the first option? I don't want even to read the question. Do you want the first, do you want to take the first option? 
do you can you take the first option can anyone say me why did i cut the first option can anyone say me why did i cut the first option can anyone say me why did i cut the first option ah uh, because it is not respective right because uh, cash book is a prime entry book ne cash book is a prime entry book right so can it be the answer so i can cut it off can the second one be the answer can the second one be the answer can the second one be the answer no right see how easy to get the answer first one and second one don't i still read i didn't read guys are additional capital part i didn't read i don't know what it is but still i can eliminate the first two option right what's the reason because it is not respectively given it is given as a prime entry book and source document see how easy now what you should do ah now read the question and get the answer now definitely the source document is what receipt see both the option are having receipt means definitely you can go with the answer receipt now for the receipt is the source document is general journal is the source document is general journal no it is cash book right you can go with the answer option for trust me guys still i didn't read the question completely still i didn't read i didn't read what transaction is it but i can get the answer here look i just only this part i read only this part trust me i i read only this part i didn't see this question before also i just only read this part and what did i do i cut off the eliminate i cut off the option 1 and 2 once after i cut off the option 1 and 2 what did i do uh, both the option is having receipt so what is uh, so, source document for the receipt source document receipt means what's the relevant prime entry book cash book simple as that did you understand how did i got the answer did you understand how did i got the answer okay now let's read the question and see what they are saying actually okay see what they are saying but guys but i don't recommend you people to do, do like that uh. please you all don't do like that i'm just doing it for the purpose of to make you all understand how easy the questions are please you all don't do like that you all do the question completely you all read the question completely go through one by one and do okay employing means investing okay now let's read the transaction what they are saying let's read the transaction employing of additional capital rupees 5000 by the owner means what our uh, owner is putting 5000 money to the business means cash inflow therefore source document will be received cash inflow means definitely it's a cash related transaction you should be recorded in the cash book therefore for the 27th question answer should be the what fourth one let's go for the 28th question guys okay let's go for the 28th question quickly okay 28th question see the total of the debit column was how much the total of the debit column was wait let me change when yeah total of the debit column is 800000 and credit column is 825000 in a trial balance okay let me do it quickly let me draw a small trial balance and show you people okay total of the debit column is how much this is what debit this is what debit and this is what credit this is what debit and this is what credit yeah debit and credit what's the total they have given what's the total they have given see the total of the debit column is how much 800000 the total of the credit column is how much 825000 this is what they have given this is what they have given now you all should figure out what a credit side is more credit side is more now what they are saying uh, an accounting error caused to this different now credit side is more no guys uh, now let's check the error one by one see increasing the total of discount allowed account by 25000 now if the discount allowed should be recorded in debit side of the trial balance or credit side of the trial balance discount allowed should be recorded in the debit side of the trial balance or credit side of the trial balance discount allowed should be recorded in the debit side of the trial balance or credit side of the trial balance debit side why debit side why debit side give the first let only why debit side why debit side Ah, uh, because it's a what expense. So you people know what expense and assets should be recorded in the debit side of the trial balance scale. So here, because it's an expense, because it's a what? Because it's a expense, it should be on the debit side. Now what's happening? Increasing the total of the discount allowed by twenty five thousand means. Now can you all understand? Because of this error, what will happen? Debit side only will be more by twenty five thousand. But according to our question, is the debit side is more, credit side is more? according to our question debit side is more or credit side is more according to our question debit side is more or credit side is more 
uh, according to our question credit side is more right but uh, because of the first one debit side only will be more so i can cut off this option second one is what increasing the total of the sales account by 25000 come on sales is a income we will be recording in the credit side uh, because of this era this might be our answer right this might be our answer right did you all understand why did i got the second answer guys for this you all should know the correction of accounting errors properly yeah? All of a sudden, without knowing the double NP or anything, if you come and sit here and if you go through this, definitely it will be sound like a French or anything. But uh, the ones who are clear with the accounting errors part, I hope you all understood. Can I know? Did you all understand? How did I got the second answer? Can I not? Uh, can I not? Did you all understand this? Because sales is a credit side thing which you should record in the trial balance. Are definitely by increasing the sales, your credit side will be lower. Sorry, credit side will be higher. Okay, credit side will be higher. Let's go for the third one, increasing the total of purchases. Come on, purchase is an expense. If you record it more, definitely because of this also, what will happen? The debit side will be what? High. Next one is what? Decreasing the total of discount received. Uh, now, discount received what? Discount received is an income. Income should be recorded on credit side. Uh, if you have recorded it lower, the credit side should be lower, right? Here, yeah, our question is credit side is higher. Ne? Our question, credit side is high, right? Therefore, you can't go with the what? Option number four also. Therefore, our answer is what? Second one for the 28th question. 29th question, guys. Very easy. What's the 29th question? The stock of rupees 45,000 purchased by a business from Sumana Dasa on credit has been recorded in Sumana Dasa's account as 54,000. The prime entry book to rectify the error. Guys, where do we do the correction of accounting errors? Where in which prime entry book? Uh, you all will be drawing an IE's general journal and you all will be doing right. So what's the answer? Where do we do correct the accounting errors? Where do we correct the accounting errors? Uh, accounting errors should be corrected through the general journal. Moving on to the 30th question, guys. Uh, from the following transaction of Sita Sports Club, the one which is not included in the income and expenditure. Okay, can you all say me what do we include in income and expenditure? Can you all say me what do we record in income and expenditure? Can you all say me what do we record in income and expenditure? Can you say me what do we record in income and expenditure account? Boys say me, boys. Girls don't answer. Boys say me for me to see. Let's see the power of boys here. Boys say me what do we record in income and expenditure account? Yeah, they're seeing answers from few boys. Others, others. Boys answer how what do we record in the income and expenditure account? Yes, I'm receiving answers now only. Okay, what do we record in income and expenditure account? We do record what? We do record only what? Income and expenditure. We do record what? Only income and expenditure. Do we record any assets or liability or equity? No, we don't record assets, liability or equity. Let's go for the answer option one by one. Let's go for the answer option one by one. Okay, guys, there's a question here. Uh, how did I, why did I omit the fourth one? Because what's happening in the fourth one? And income is recorded decreasing, right? If they have recorded an income by a lower amount, our credit side will be lower. So that's what I eliminated because our credit side is high here. Okay, moving on to the 30th question, guys. So here, what are we supposed to find? Uh, we are supposed to get the answer, but asset liability equity because what? Not included, no. Let's go for the answer one by one. Receipt of rupees uh, 1000 from selling newspaper. That is the what? Income. That is the what? Income we will be taking. Next one is what? Uh, purchasing a sports equipment. See, every every paper they are testing from this, right? Purchasing a sports equipment. Remember, sports equipment, it's a what? Sports equipment, it is an uncurrent asset, right? Sports equipment, it's an asset, no? Therefore, will you record it in your income and expenditure code? You will not record in your income and expenditure code. Okay? Therefore, you can take that as to what answer. Next one, donation is a what? Donation is a what? Income. Donation is a income. And this is a what? expenditure no? uh, therefore these things you can record except the one second one guys are you all clear until 30 are you all clear until 30 are you all clear until 30 at least for this give a reply others others For your crush, girlfriend, boyfriend and all, you all will be replying, no guys? When I ask a question, you people don't reply. Yeah, yeah. 
32 has replied. 32 has replied. Somewhere around 5 student has not replied yet. Yeah, two more. Guys, did you all understand? Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, understood, right? Yeah, good. Okay, let's do the next questions, guys, quickly. Uh, only uh, 10 more questions. Very easy question. Okay, let's do the 31st question. Let's do the what? 31st question. Okay. Right. Uh, the total production cost of a business which produced flower pots for the month of October 2018 was rupees 150,000. Okay, let me take it to my working sheet. Let me take it to my working sheet. Give me a second. Okay. Right, uh, let's do this question, okay? Total production cost of a business which produced flower pots for the month of October 2018 is 150,000. While uh, while the number of flower pots produced during the month is 500, okay? Now, how to get the answer? See here, they're asking what? Selling price per unit. They are asking for the what? Selling price per unit. Now, in order to find the selling price per unit, what you all should get? Uh, you all should get the unit cost. You all should get the what? Unit cost. So what's the formula to get the unit cost? Unit cost you all can find as what? Total production cost. Total production cost. Total production cost. Divided by. Divided by. Number of units. Number of units. Produced. Total production cost. Number of units. Produced. Okay. Can I know what's the total production cost? Perfect. Some people are giving me the answer also. Can I know what's the total production cost? Uh, directly they have given as what? 150,000 they have given as total production cost. Okay, 150,000 they have given as what? Total production cost. Number of unit produced is what? 500. So I can chop these two. I can chop these two. So I can chop 5 and 15 also. So what is my unit cost? What is my unit cost? Uh, unit cost is 300. So if the cost is 300, will they sell it for 300 itself? No, they are keeping a profit margin of how many percentage? 20 percentage. So what's the profit margin? What's the profit margin? What's the profit margin guys? What's the profit margin? For 300, they are keeping how many percentage? 20 percentage. So they are keeping 300 into 20 percentage is what? 60. So their cost is 300. Their cost is 300. They are keeping a profit margin of 60 rupees. And finally, they are selling for the customers for how much? 360. So what's the answer? Third one is our answer. Third one is our answer. Did you all understand a basic calculation? A basic calculation. Okay. If you all want, you all can just get a screenshot quickly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go for the 38. So, the answer should be what? The answer should be what? Third one. The answer should be what? Third one. Next one is what? Uh, some expenditure item of production business and some elements of production cost are given below in X and Y respectively. So, they are asking some things, right? So, let me go one by one. Okay. Uh, electricity expense of roof tile production business, wages of dressmakers for garment factory. Okay. What did I told you people? When they give a table like this here, when I do this question, what did I told you? When I do this question, what did I told you all? When I do the 12th question, what did I told you? Okay. But what are you supposed to do? Just figure out what is very easy. You all know royalty payment is definitely a direct other expense. No. You all know royalty payment is about direct other expense. Royalty payment is about direct other expense. So for the final one, your answer should be what? For the final, your option should be what? B. So you can come on guys. See, hey, we got the answer. This one is the answer. Do I want to know the other things also? Very easy, no guys. So let's actually go one by one. See, electricity expense of a roof tile production business. So they are producing roof tile. So electricity expense is definitely a what? Definitely an indirect other cost, right? Definitely it's an indirect other cost. Next one is what? Wages of a dressmaker in a garment factory. So garment factory, what they will be doing? Uh, they will be making dresses, right? 
So definitely their salary, their uh, cost is what? Direct labor cost. They are, one is what? Direct labor cost. And the wage of watcher is what? Indirect labor cost. So therefore you can go with the option number three. Okay, see how easy to get the answer. Please do this in the exam. Huh? Don't be that uh, smart fellow to do one by one. Just see what is easy. Get that and then again check your answer. I didn't ask you all not to check. I'm asking you all to check again. Get the correct one and just uh, check the answer one by one also. So then is what? You will definitely get the what? Correct answer. So moving on to the 33rd question. Ah, very good question guys. Okay, 33rd question. Can I know the answer? Can I know the answer? If I give the mic for anyone, will anyone explain here? As a change, if I give the mic for anyone, will you all ex uh, explain the 33rd question? Let it be correct or wrong. If it is wrong, I can correct you all. If it is wrong, I can correct you all. Anyone, anyone, anyone? I just don't ask for any volunteer. Let it be correct or wrong, no issues at all. A student is like, I didn't do the question, it seems. A student is like, I can't speak, it seems. <laughs> if you can't speak, how to explain? Anyone, anyone, anyone? Can't means put can't, so I can see. Can, but scared, sir. Why do you want to be scared? Yeah, like, uh, is that the people out here are uh, ghost or anything? Will they come and hit you? No, right? They don't know who you are. So I can just unmute yourself so you can just speak and explain. If it is wrong, completely fine. I will not say anything. No one will say anything. If it is wrong, fine, guys. A student is like, sir, welcome. <laughs> Guys, English is not the matter. Guys, English, come on, English all. Okay, whatever the language you all can use. Okay, okay, I'll explain, I'll explain. I just want to see who is coming forward. Okay, how I, I would have explained. I just want to see how many of you are coming forward. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, just kind of a social experiment. Okay, no, no worries, guys. Let me explain 33rd question. Let me explain the 33rd question. Okay, just check it. Okay, see. Uh, okay, Kumudu invested rupees 100,000 earned from her business on 1st of April 2017. Dates are important. Eh? In a fixed deposit at an interest rate of 12% annual interest rate. The annual interest to be received on 31st March 2018. Fine. According to the financial statement of this business prepared for the year ended 31st December 2017. So let me draw the timing guys. So let me draw the accounting period. Accounting period is ending on what? It is ending on 31st December 2017. So it would have been started on 1st of January 2017. Okay, now let me use another color pen to explain you all this one. Okay, now see here. Kumudu invested rupees 100,000 earned from her business on 1st of April. Come on, when she is investing. She is not investing on 1st of January. She is investing 1st of April. She is investing when guys? Uh, she is investing somewhere on 1st of April. Okay, wait. She is investing somewhere on what? 1st of April. 2017 she is investing somewhere on guys 1st of april 2017 so during the period for how many months she has invested uh, she has invested only for how many months nine months are you people clear with this are you people clear with this are you people clear with this during the period for how many months she has deposited Fine, it's for one year, fine. But our accounting period is ending on 31st December. Therefore, she has invested or she has deposited in a fixed deposit only for nine months. So our interest also should be calculated for how many months? Uh, interest also should be calculated for nine months. Interest also should be calculated for what? Nine months. I'll repeat again, see here. See what they are saying. Our accounting period is ending on what? 
31st December 2017. So if it is ending on 31st December 2017, when it would have been started? Uh, 1st of January 2017, it would have been started. Don't be confused. Just go slowly one by one. First thing, what did I figure out? Uh, if it is ending on 31st December, it would have started on 1st of January. Now, when are they investing here? They are investing or they are putting the money in a fixed deposit on 1st of April. Our period is started on 1st of January. Uh, January is gone, February is gone, March is gone. On the 1st of April only, he is depositing the money. On 1st of April only, he is depositing the money. Uh, so, interest will be got or interest will be obtained from 1st of April. You can't get the annual interest no, by depositing on 1st of April. You can't. So, you will be able to get the interest only for how many months? You will be able to get the interest only for 9 months. Okay. Now, see here, what are they saying? Uh, now, see here, what are they saying? Let me cal calculate the interest. Okay. You are investing how many, how much? 100,000 into annual interest rate is 12 percentage. So, 12 percentage you will be getting for one year. That divided by how many months? Uh, that should be multiplied by 9 and divided by 12 as it is only for what? As it is only for 9. Okay. So, this is for one year. If I divide it by 12 and multiply it by 9, you will be able to get the what? Uh, interest income for 9 months. So, can I get the answer? What's the answer? 100,000 into 12 percentage into 9 divided by 12. Let me use the calculator. 100,000 into 12 percentage is 12,000. Divided by 12 is uh, 1,000 into 9 will give you the answer how much? 9,000. Will give you the answer how much? 9,000. So, this 9,000 is the answer. Right? Okay. This 9,000 is what? Uh, this 9,000 is your fixed deposit interest income for the period. Now, say me, when will you receive this interest? When will you receive this interest? Here, they are saying, the annual interest to be received on what? The annual interest to be received on what? Uh, you will be receiving when? On 31st March 2018. You will be receiving this interest of how much? For the and for the period you are supposed to earn a you are supposed to earn an interest income of nine thousand. But this nine thousand, when will you receive? Not at the end. When will you receive this nine thousand? Uh, you will be preparing this or you will be receiving this 9,000 on this date, right? You will be receiving this 9,000 on this date. Now, say me, you are preparing your financial statement on this date. Ne? You are preparing this financial statement on this date. Uh, when you prepare your financial statement on this date, definitely what should happen? There is a receivable of 9,000, right? Because for the period you have earned an income of 9,000, but you will be receiving that 9,000 income on this date, which means when you are preparing the statement on this date, there is a receivable of how much? 9,000. So your answer should be what? Third one. I hope it is clear. With the diagram I explained, guys, so can I know, can I get the confirmation? Whether you all understood it or not? 9,000 you have earned, guys, but you will be receiving that on a future date. As of 31st December 2017, it is a receivable for you people. Did you all understand that? Yeah, perfect. Okay. 34th question. 34th question. Okay. Guys, uh, if anyone is not clear, please check the YouTube video, guys. Only for this one because uh, I can't explain it one more time quickly, guys. It will take long time, like around 5 to 10 minutes. So, please take the video. Uh, in case if you didn't understand still, you can always drop me a WhatsApp text. I'll be able to explain you once again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Channel name. You all can just type my name, guys. You all can just type my name. You all know my name, no? Just uh, type my name. In case if you didn't find it, you all can just drop me a text. Uh, I will be able to send you the link. So you all can just uh, 2015, 2016, and 2017 past paper videos are already uploaded, guys. You all can just check that also if you all were not in the live session. Okay. 34th question is what? The business has purchased a machine for rupees 500. Ah, guys, and also one more thing. Uh, our seminar series are going on, guys. Uh, tomorrow we will be doing the seminar too. So in case if anyone is not aware about the seminar uh, series, you all can just join that. Uh, join the group also. There's another group, guys, apart from the past paper group. So you all can join that also. So tomorrow we will be doing our seminar too, which is where we will be covering all the primary books in detail. So first seminar is over. 
tomorrow we'll be doing the second seminar where we will be covering all the prime entry books so in case if anyone is not aware about you all can just drop me a text and get the details uh, just wanted to inform you all okay yeah just wanted to inform you all guys okay okay now that 9000 we will be receiving on this date here they are saying here they are saying right in this question annual interest to be received on 31st march 2018 so this 9000 also we will be receiving on this date therefore on this date it's a receivable okay yeah next one 34th question is what guys 34th question very easy right can i know the formula for depreciation how to calculate depreciation annual depreciation annual depreciation is equal to cost minus residual value divided by useful lifetime so let me get the answer uh, business has purchased a machinery for rupees 500000 so cost is how much 500000 the effective useful lifetime is how many years effective useful lifetime is 5 years effective useful lifetime is how many years 5 years uh, so what is this scrap value guys scrap value is 50000 so they are asking what the amount of depreciation of the machine shown in the income statement for the period is how much 50, 500 minus 50 will be 450 450 minus 5000 will be how much 90000 very easy question answer should be what first one 34th question answer should be what answer should be first one 35th question guys so it is very connected so you can just do it one by one quickly okay let me do it one by one guys okay so far uh, did you all understand residual value are you means r r not are you guys are we residual value uh guys uh, guys they are asking for the income statement ne? income statement here we don't want find for two years we don't want to find for two years it if it is accumulated depreciation only it's for two years here they are asking for the income statement ne? Uh, income statement we should show the annual expenditure right in income statement we should show the annual expenditure right No, depreciable value means uh, it's wrong. A uh, depreciable value means what? If they if they ask for the depreciable value, it is four hundred and fifty thousand. Here they are asking for the depreciation, right? Our uh, depreciation means it is ninety thousand. In a previous year past paper, we discussed what a depreciable value question. Just take that a uh, two thousand sixteen or seventeen, I guess. I can't remember exactly, but in that we discussed about the depreciable value. Okay, yeah. Next one is what? Let's do this question also quickly, guys. Okay, what's the formula to find the cost of sales? Now you all say me the answer quickly. What's the formula to find the cost of sales? What's the formula to find the cost of sales? Opening stock, opening stock plus purchases, opening stock plus purchases. So anything comes under the purchases I can take minus what? Closing stock. So let me go one by one. Let me go one by one. Uh, opening stock is how much? Opening stock is 40,000. Opening stock is 40,000. Uh, my purchases is how much? Purchases is 150,000. Uh, carriage inverse is how much? Carriage inverse is 3,000. And do I have any other things? No. What's my closing stock? Closing stock is how much? 30,000. Closing stock is how much? 30,000. Can you all do the calculation and let me know the answer quickly? Can you do the calculation and let me know the answer quickly? Perfect. Yeah. Enoughly, as you are saying, it's correct. Purchase plus carriage inverse loading expense minus closing stock. Sorry, my yeah, minus closing stock is equal to cost of sales. Perfect. What's the answer, guys? What's the answer of the cost of sales? 40,000 plus 150 will be 190. 193, 193 minus 30,000 is equal to how much? 163,000. Do you have an answer option? 163,000? Yes. Is the answer is fourth one? 163,000. Very easy, no, guys? 163,000. Next one is what? They're asking you all to find the gross profit. They're asking you all to find the gross profit. What's the formula to find the gross profit? Sales minus cost of sales. So what is the sales value here? What is the sales value? Sales value is 250,000. We already found the cost of sales as 163,000. Therefore, what's the answer? Uh, 250 minus 163,000 will be equal to 87,000. Will be equal to how much? 87,000. So you can go with the answer number one. 
Okay, you can go with the answer number one. Next one they ask you as what? The amount of insurance paid in cash of the business for the year ended 31st December 2017. Okay, now one important theory part for you all to know guys. Remember one important theory part for you people to know is what? The information, write it somewhere else and keep the information, the information, the information, or you can write, uh, you can write like this, wait, you can write, uh, wait, the income, income and expense, the income and expense, the income and expense in the important theory part, uh, important theory part, the income and expense in the trial balance, trial balance is the received, received or paid amount, is received or what? Paid amount. Example, if they are giving a particular income or expense value in the trial balance, what does that mean? Uh, that is the amount actually they have paid or received by cash. Did you all understand that? Did you all understand that? If they are giving a information in trial balance, that is the amount which they have received or they have paid. Did you all understand that? Did you all understand that? Did you all understand that? Can I get a reply? Because it's important. Okay, now what are they asking here? They're asking us what? The amount of insurance paid in cash, right? So I told you what the information which is in trial balance is pay, paid amount, right? Here directly you can get 18,000. They have what? Paid, right? Directly you can get the answer 18,000. But here they have given a what? Here they have given a 20,000, right? Or 20,000 is what? Annual insurance fee. Trial balance they have given 18,000. So minus 18,000. So there is a payable of how much? There is a payable of 2000. So that's how you should figure out the answer here. Did you people understand? Did you people understand? Yeah, if I if I'm to explain using an example, I can take this example itself. No, guys, here they have given annual insurance fee. How much? Annual insurance fee 20,000. Annual insurance fee, how much? 20,000. So I told you what the information which is in the trial balance is paid amount. Uh, so what, th what is this? Out of 20,000, you have paid 18,000 by cash. Here, yeah? you have paid 18,000 by cash. Here, yeah? you have received 5,000 other income by cash. You have received discount by cash 2,000. You have made financial expense by cash 4,000. Did you all understand? The income and expense which is in the trial balance is what? Received amount or paid amount. Simple as that. Here, yeah, they are giving us what? 20,000 is the annual insurance fee. Out of that, you have paid 18,000 by cash. Therefore, further, you have a payable of how much? 2,000. Out of these 20,000, you have paid 18,000 by cash. Therefore, elect, uh, insurance payable is 2,000. The one who was written out, did you, are you clear? The one who asked related to your example, uh, are you clear? Simple thing. Okay. Yeah. Now, see this question. Uh, that is fine. So answer should be 18,000 because the information which is in the trial balance is what? Paid amount. Actually, is 2,000 years. Now let's go for the next one. The amount of debtors in the financial position statement of this business. So how to show the data balance guys? Okay. Now what's the closing data balance? What's the data balance they have given in the trial balance? Okay. What's the data balance they have given in the trial balance? Okay. For this question, I can use it here. What's the data balance they have given in the trial balance? Uh, 35,000. 35,000 they have given in the trial balance. How much is the bad debt? How much is the bad debt here? 3,000 is the bad debt. So how much we should show actually? 32,000 very easy questions guys. So what's the answer for the 38 answer should be what? Second one. 38 answer should be what? Second one. Simply from data, uh, data balance you should deduct the bad debt. Okay. Bad debt means the amount which you will not receive from the data. Next one is what? The net profit of the business for the year ended. Okay, now let me get the net profit quickly. Okay, see how to get the net profit. See how to get the net profit. Let me use this area. Okay, can I know the formula to find the net profit, guys? Gross profit, gross profit, plus, plus other income, 
of the income minus expenses. Minus what? Expenses. So this is the formula. Ne? No, bad debt means they will not pay again. Bad debt means what? They will not pay. That is what known as bad debt. So it's an expense for our business. Therefore, from data balance, we should deduct. But there are instances where they used to pay and all. In A-level, we used to do the entries for that also, guys. But in O-level, we don't have anything like that. Bad debt means think it as what? They will not pay Kiala. Okay, now what's the, for, uh, what's the gross profit we found? Uh, what's the gross profit we found here? In 36 question, we found the gross profit as what? 87,000. Let's check what are the other income we have? What are the other income we have? Uh... Yeah, what? Let me use blue color pen. What are the other income we have? We have 5,000 other income and also we have a discount received of 2,000. Therefore, what's our total other income? Total other income is how much? 7,000. Our total other income is how much? 7,000. So I can put here as what? 7,000. So what are my expenditure here, guys? What are my expenditure here? Let me highlight for you people to make it more clear. Let me highlight my all the expenditure. Let me highlight all, all the expenditure. Okay, let's go one by one. Okay, what are the expenditure here? Have we have capital, no stock, no sales, no purchase, no carriage, inverse, no debtors, no. Okay. Insurance expense that 18,000 is the paid amount. But what's the annual insurance? Annual insurance is 20,000, which is the expenditure. Okay, next one administrative salary is 26,000. Financial expense is 4,000. Discount received is an income, other income is an income. Discount allowed 10,000 is an expenditure. Bad debt 3,000 is an expenditure. Can you people say me the total? Can you people say me the total? Uh, 3,000 plus 20,000 will be 23,000. 33,000, 33,000, 37,000, uh, 37,000, uh, 37, sorry, wait, 20, 23,000, 33,000, 37,000, 43,000. 53,000, 63,000. Is it 63,000? Total is it 63,000? Total expenditure is it what? 63,000. Total ex expenditure is it 63,000? Total expenditure is it 63,000? Can I get the confirmation quickly? I didn't do the calculation, guys. I just took only the values uh, 20,000 plus 3,000, 23, 33. 37, 40, uh, 43, 53, 63, yes. So what, what is my net profit, guys? Uh, can I use the, uh, can I calculate and same? What's the net profit? 87 plus 7 will be equal to uh, 94,000. 94,000 minus 63,000 will be how much? 94,000 minus uh, 63, right? The answer will be 31,000, right? So did you all got the answer first one? Did you all got the answer first one? Yes, perfect. Everyone has uh, sent me the answer. Okay, next one is what? The total equity of the owner of the business. Okay, what's the, how to find the equity? How to find the equity? Opening, opening capital plus net profit minus if there are any drawings, you will be deducted. Okay, what's the opening capital here? Opening capital is how much? 300,000. So I can put the opening capital as what? 300,000. Uh, what else do I have? Stock, no sales, no purchase, no carriage, invest, no debtors, no insurance, no admin, no finance, no discount received, no discount allowed, no, 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 no. Yeah. So what's my net profit for the period? Net profit for the period is how much? 31,000. 31,000. Is there any drawings? Is there any drawings? There is no any drawings. Therefore, my closing equity will be how much? 331,000. So answer should be what? First one. Guys, did you all understand? Did you all understand? So the complete uh, MCQs of 2018 paper is uh, done, guys. So coming Friday, we will be discussing the part two. Eh? So every Friday and Wednesday, you have this free past paper session, guys. We will be doing until 2022 paper before your exams. So in be between, if I had to put any extra classes, I will be putting by informing you all through the group. So make sure that you all come for the live session, guys. Then only we can do it interactively. If not, I will also feel bored to do this. You all can understand, right? So if no, no, if there are no participants, it will be boring and difficult for me also to do. So when you all are here and when you all are providing me the answer and when you all are interacting, so we can do it properly and effectively, guys. Uh, so yes, you all can uh, put your emojis quickly and let me know how long you all have understood this unit. 
the uh, this paper so you can just uh, express your what, feelings through the emojis now and the ones who have any doubt you all can drop me a text the ones who have any doubt you all can drop me a text okay guys uh, our third seminar there is will there will be a small time change our third seminar there will be a small time change guys i will let you all know that uh, in our tomorrow seminar guys uh, because uh, with the fasting, I don't think we will be able to do from uh, morning 7 to 11 o'clock because I have my theory classes also evening hours. So that's the thing here, guys. So let's take, uh, I will let you all know, guys. For now, tomorrow our session will be as usual at 8.30 to 12 o'clock night. We have our seminar 2. Uh, our seminar 3, I will let you all know about the timing, guys. The ones who have not registered for the seminar, yes, you all can register and get the seminar 1 recording. Uh, other than that guys uh, i hope everything is clear for today and please join the past paper session no worries if you all didn't come for any of my classes no issues at all if you all come across any doubt and if you all want to clear your doubts or anything you all can just drop me a text guys i will be able to definitely clear your doubts so other than that guys so that's all for today that's all for today and see you all uh, tomorrow in the seminar series and the ones who are coming for the past paper session only see you all again uh, friday so till then guys, uh, stay safe, uh, study well, do your works properly, don't be stressed over these days, uh, stay focused on your studies, so after that you all can enjoy. So till then guys, uh, stay safe and study well, uh, see you all again uh, tomorrow and the ones who are coming for the session, past paper, we'll meet again on Friday.